Hey guys, what's up? It's April. Today I'm going to share with you all of the books that have made their way into my library over the last few weeks. So let's get started. So the first book is actually a non-fiction book and that is In Order to Live by Yonmi Park. And you may have heard of her but she is a woman who actually was born in North Korea and it's all about her escape basically. And North Korea has always really fascinated me and I've just heard that this woman is so beautiful and positive and I can't wait to read this book. I've heard it's absolutely fantastic. The next book I have is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey which is the sequel to The Fifth Wave. Um, I read The Fifth Wave back in 2013 but since The Fifth Wave movie is coming out soon I really wanted to get the sequel so I can be all caught up on the series and stuff. If you like sci-fi, if you like aliens, if you like a good survival story, I definitely recommend checking this out. And then we have Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I did have an ARC copy. I gave it to some of my work colleagues so that they could read it. So I did buy myself a finished copy because it is one of my favorite books of this year. It is the most amazing sci-fi. Ugh. Ugh. And then we have Another Day by David Levithan. In September I read the first book Every Day by David Levithan and it blew me away. So I decided that I had to get this book. It is actually every day just told from Rhiannon's perspective. So it's not a sequel, but there is going to be a sequel. I'm not sure when it will be released, but I will leave the Goodreads page for that book down below. So at least we will get some answers after the end of every day. I'm really excited to read from Rhiannon's perspective and I love this cover. Mm. Next book was the book in the YA Chronicles box for October and I have an unboxing of that. I will leave it here if you want to watch it. The book was The Next Together by Lauren James. And the really cool thing about the YA Chronicles is they actually, I don't know if you can see this, actually stamp their books and I don't even know if you can see that properly and I don't even know how they do it but it is so cool it says the YA Chronicles approved so cool the next book I got sent for review from the publisher Hardy Grant Egmont and this is Bro by Helen Shabati Shabat I'm not sure how you pronounce that but um, this isn't the finished copy but this one comes out February 2016 and the really super super cool thing about this is that the author is Syrian basically it takes place in Australia but it's all about um, people of different cultures and how that sort of affects their everyday life and going to school and stuff and I think this is so important especially with you know the devastating things that have been happening overseas at the moment I think it's really important um, that we have this you know that sort of promotes acceptance and you know peace and everything so I'm really excited to give this one a go because I think it's just so so important and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Then I also got Alex and Ada volumes 2 and 3 by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughan. These are the last two volumes in the Alex and Ada uh, comic series and I've already read them and it is one of my favorite comic book series ever. I love them so much. It is set in the future and it revolves around a man who falls in love with an android. They're excellent. I definitely recommend you check them out if you haven't. Then I have a pre-order. Um, it was the paperback version of The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Um, I've already read the entire series but I wanted my series to match so I waited for the US paperback to come out and I love this series so much and I can't wait for the Shaw Confessions which will be coming out in 2017 which will be a new trilogy taking place from Noah Shaw's perspective but after the events in the third book. Oh so excited. The next three books are a series that I've been really looking forward to reading and I'm going to be buddy reading them with Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads. I will link her channel down below because if you're not subscribed to her yet please go and do so because she is amazing and my dearest friend in the world. But anyway she's already read this series and she wants to reread it and it'll be my first time reading it and it is the Mediator series by Meg Cabot and these are the Australian editions. There's two books in each volume so this is all six books that are out so far. After finishing the Princess Diaries series this month, I basically just want to read everything that Meg Cabot has ever written, ever. I just love her and I can't wait to read this series. Apparently it's about 
a girl who can see ghosts, I think. I'm not too sure, but I'm super looking forward to reading these really soon. Also bought a Meg Cabot omnibus. Um, it's got two books in one and it has Every Boy's Got One and Queen of Babel Gets Hitched. And both of these books are the third book in series. So I already have the first two books in the Queen of Babel series. So I figured this was only like $3.00. And I figured I'd just pick this up because it was so cheap. And I'm going to be reading these series at some stage soon anyway. So it'll be nice to have the last books in the series ready to go. Next, I picked up His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman, the bind up of all three books in this beautiful, beautiful edition. If you haven't heard, BBC is adapting this series into a TV show. So I've never read the series and I really want to, especially because the TV show is going to be coming out. So I bought this. How beautiful this book is just on its own. It's just so stunning and I can't wait to finally read this series. It's going to be wonderful. Next, I picked up a book for book club and that is Feed by M.T. Anderson. Um, this one was published quite a while ago and it's about this group of kids who go to the moon just to have fun or something. I'll be reading this really soon for my work book club and I'm excited. The next book I ordered off Thrift Books because I've just really always wanted to read it but I didn't want to pay full price. It was pretty expensive so I got it off there and that is The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting. I absolutely adore Kimberly Dirting's The Taking, um, which is a sci-fi book. And it's about this girl who can sense dead bodies, and so it essentially turns into a murder mystery. And I've just been really into that kind of thing lately. Um, especially, I think at the time I ordered this, I was watching a lot of Criminal Minds. So I just kind of felt like this was the right time to buy this book. So I am so stupid, and this happens to me so often. Um, I go on the book depository and I go to pre-order or buy a hardcover book and I end up ordering the library binding. It always happens to me because I don't look closely enough at the details. It just says, you know, hardcover and the price is the same as a normal hardcover so I just assume it's not a library binding. But it happened to me this time and that's okay, I don't really mind. But I pre-ordered For the Record by Charlotte Huang. And the library binding isn't so bad, it just, instead of having the dust jacket, um, it just has what well, is on the normal dust jacket on the actual book. So that's not too bad, um, but I'm really super excited to read this because it's about a girl who finds herself becoming famous through music, I believe, and I love those type of stories. I just think they're so much fun. So yeah, I'm super excited to read this. And then of course I pre-ordered Winter by Marissa Meyer and I've already read this and it was absolutely phenomenal. This is definitely my favourite cover of all four novels and I love how realistic the hand is. I think it's just so beautiful. Um, so this is the conclusion to the Lunar Chronicles series. It is 823 pages long and there is not a dull page in the entire book, let me tell you that. So if you're hesitating picking it up because of the length, don't worry because it will just fly by because it is just so exciting. The whole thing is just so exciting. <sighs> I was going to buy this from work but when we got it in I realized it was a different publisher and so the sizes were different so I ordered it online and that is The Revolution of Ivy by Amy Engel and this is the sequel to The Book of Ivy and it's also the conclusion so it's only two books in the series and this is one of my favorite dystopian series. The first book was so great and I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you haven't because it's finished it's completed now and you'll be able to read both books and it'll be great so that's it that is it for my book haul today let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if any of these are your favorites and I will see you guys soon with a new video Good what goodbye uh.